Well, last week we got the two tires set on these 10 foot Holt logging wheels. After the process of setting tires, there's always some scorching and all the hammering and adjusting to line the fellows up with the tires. So I leave all these rim bolts out till I'm finally done sanding and finishing and do all my cleanup and eventually re-oiling these. So that's the last step in preparing these wheels to go home. I had mentioned previously that I have a 28 foot flatbed trailer that when these wheels are done, I'm gonna set them on this trailer to allow the owners to arrange time for however they're gonna pick these up and take them home. Well, once they're on the trailer, that kind of ties that trailer up. So before I do that, I have the project for this next winter that I want to haul into the shop. Well, this is a remnant of a sheep wagon that's going to be our next project. It's so falling apart, we're going to take a ratchet strap and kind of bundle it up, take the forklift and haul it down to the shop. Janelle's still here, so she's going to help us get this done. See if that'll hold her together.
Well, now that we're all cleaned up, this is where these wheels are going to sit until they can figure out how they're going to transport them to get them home. They're going to go to Northern California. So probably another flatbed, maybe a little boy. We'll see. I got all these bolts on these rings put in, just a countersunk bolt so that as the logs might skid along this plate here, they wouldn't catch on anything and then clamped with these clips on the back side so those are all installed so I guess we'll go back to the shop and I'll explain a little further about this next sheep wagon project we're gonna start for the winter it's gonna be kind of a unique project well in my 40 plus years of being in the shop I have focused primarily on custom work and that has evolved into new construction and primarily restorations. Well, this is going to be a little different. It will be somewhat of a restoration, but more of a preservation, if you can believe it. You remember here a while back, I did an undercarriage that I didn't restore. I actually kind of conserved and preserved it. That undercarriage goes to this sheep wagon. I didn't do much very fancy. I replaced a few parts. I antiqued it and then I put an oil stain on it. Well, this wants to be somewhat the same motif, if that's the right word. The owner would like to use as much as possible what is here. He's not concerned about utility. He's not concerned about it's ever going to get used. It is going to be static display as a memory of a ranch sheep wagon that he remembers when he was a child and it was his grandfather's and an uncle, however that story plays out. So that's what we're going to try to do with this. I don't really fully know what all is what here. Some of this iron work. It's going to be kind of a puzzle to figure out what is what and what goes where and what I can save. Even wood like this, if it belongs to this, we'd like it to be saved. You know, some of this is going to be just literally beyond that point, but we'll try to see what we have here. This is some of the covered bows and then the lateral slats some would call a purlin must have been where the chimney went up from the cook stove this might be part of the kitchen cabinet I kind of doubt that was part of it. Uh, this looks like it was part of the front door, maybe. This is a whole front wall assembly. Yeah, this would have been the door, and this was to the left side of the wagon. 
The inside had a tin shroud and this is where the cook stove would have been. And this was all plywood. Might have been replaced at one time, who knows. This kitchen cabinet is still attached right here. I don't know if I can get this up out of the way. It does tell us what position it was in though. You know there's kind of a song to that effect. Finding out what condition my condition was in. Looks like this would have been maybe a table with the drop leg. Probably was the front of the cabinet. Fold down as a working station. This is possibly the back wall. There's enough framework here. Looks like this is possibly where the window was. So this whole back area here was the bed. Possibly a grain bin access from the back. So these type of pieces probably related somewhere back here, either to the green bin or to the bed, hard to tell. Fair bit of this red paint showing up. That's about the same tone as I did the undercarriage. Probably this is framework to the front entry underneath the bed area. Twist latch here for a door. Those two I bet go together. This looks like there was a metal divider. Set about right so. There's a cleat on that side. Which is top and which is bottom. Could have been a divider with a divider on the back for feed or possibly divider to the front. But I'm guessing this would have been a divider in the center of the bed area. Now here's a latch of some type. Probably a latch to the back green compartment. But my guess is it went back here hinged here and this latch would have gone onto this hasp here it would have been a hinged gate for the back end for the grain box well, there's another bow part yeah see it's been patch this bow broke right here so it has sheet metal attached front back inside outside making a repair for that broken bow another hinge assembly here not sure where that would be it could be to a side box two long rods Probably went across front to back, side to side. One for the front, one for the back could be my guess. Some of this is pretty indistinguishable. There's the top part, more top parts. Just melted in over all the years of sitting outside. And it's kind of different to me, but it kind of looks like these floorboards were jointed on a frame right about in the middle. A lot of these floorboards seem to end right in this area. Joints right in front of that wall there to the bed. So very common tongue and groove fur floor but uncommon that they would be jointed right in the middle of the wagon. 
That seems to be the case on this one. Maybe these were added on top as a patch. That's possible too. These might be the original ones. They might have gone clear through. Possibly wear and tear in time and age. Maybe a second floor was added on top and joined it in front of this wall. Maybe that's the story behind this. Another secondary floor added back here. So this is kind of where we have our starting point. The bed was there. Oftentimes there was a table underneath the bed, but it looks to me like there's a drop table off of the kitchen cabinet. Stove would have gone here. There's a little box behind that looks like it was holding pots and pans. A little metal plate here. I'm not sure what it is. Here's a hole here for the brake rod and ratchet, all that brake assembly to work there. The front panel of the wagon was here with the door off to the right, which is pretty common. Save what you can. I'd like to use as much as the old as possible. It's going to be a challenge. Anyway, so we start another journey. Appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching. <laughs>